Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about finding values for secant theta, cosecant theta, cotangent theta with a calculator. What you'll find is that most scientific calculators only have the three trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. To find secant theta, cosecant theta, cotangent theta, we use the reciprocal functions. Secant theta is 1 over cosine theta, cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta, and cotangent theta is 1 over tan theta. I'll show you this using a TI-84 plus calculator, but this is really the same if you had a TI-30XX2 or any other handheld calculator. After I show you this demonstration, I'll also show you what to do in Desmos where it does have all six trig functions. Let's say we want to find the cosecant of 42 degrees. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my mode and I'm going to see if it's in radians or degrees. I want to go over and switch to degrees before I start my problem. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so I'm going to put 1 divided by the sine of 42. Your assignment should tell you how many decimal places you're supposed to enter. Let's say we want to find the secant of 147 degrees. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so I'll enter 1 divided by the cosine of 147. Let's do one in radians. To start, I'll go to the mode, switch back to radians. Let's try the cotangent of 2 pi over 9. I'll hit 1 divided by the tangent of 2 pi divided by 9. I want to show you that again using the Desmos calculator. I'll start by going to settings, switching to degrees. Then I can open up the keyboard, go to functions, and pull up the trig functions. In Desmos, you can see we have all six functions. I'll click on cosecant, I'll type in 42, and I get the same answer that I got previously by using the reciprocal function. Our second one was secant of 147 degrees. I can go back to the functions, I can click on secant and type in 147, or I can just type in SEC at first it shows an exclamation, it's just letting you know that you need to put in your degree, so I put in 147, and again I get the same answer. Our last one was cotangent of 2 pi over 9. To start, I go back to the settings, switch to radians, then I type in cot for cotangent, 2 pi for pi, divide by 9. You can use whichever of the calculators you want to as you work on your assignment. Remember that you may have situations where you're in your classroom testing setting where you won't have a Desmos calculator to do your work, or maybe you're in some kind of certification where you only have a handheld calculator. I encourage you to try both of the calculators as you do your work, just so you get extra practice.